I'm contemplating building a ping pong ball machine, um, similar to a tennis ball machine, the type of tennis ball machine that uses two wheels to shoot tennis balls one at a time. Uh, by doing it this way, you can vary the speed, the spin, the direction, uh, the number of balls per minute, and also the uh, elevation that the balls come out of the machine. So <clears throat> to do this for ping pong balls, it's going to require that I have a, a motor to spin the wheels, some type of speed sensing for feedback, uh, servos to change the elevation, direction, and to move the balls into the launch wheels, um, and then controls to tie everything together. Um, I also need batteries for power and the propulsion wheels themselves, as well as a framework to hold everything in place. So where I am right now is, is that I've taken an integrated one motor, a microcontroller, uh, an H-bridge board, a speed sensor, and a LiPo battery. So the hardware that I have is, uh, what I'm using right now is this Arduino Nano that I got from eBay. I think it was like five, seven bucks, something like that. Um, then the, uh, the H-Bridge board here from Deke Robot. I got this also off of eBay. It uses an L293D H-Bridge uh, chip. Um, I've got a two cell LiPo that I got from Hobby King, uh, DC motor, three to, three to 12 volt DC motor that I got from Amazon, um, a slot type of opto coupler, which um, uh, is tied into the loop here also. So this along with the sketch that I wrote for the Arduino Nano um, works like this. So I'll start the program by resetting this. So the motor counts up to its maximum speed in one direction and then reverses its direction to go the other way. Now this continues unless there is something detected in the path of the optocoupler, in which case it will stop and then continue if, if, it's, uh, if it's cleared. So again, it stops. So by tying all these things together, um, I hope to be able to use this to uh, build my ping pong ball machine.